good time to now seven o'clock. I'd like to call to order uh, the regular scheduled meeting of Rockman City Council here on March 13th of 2023. This time I'd like to welcome Keith Rogers uh, his first meeting, first official meeting as our new city manager. Uh, welcome Keith and thank you for uh, coming. Uh, we're excited to have you here and the many great things that we anticipate that you're going to do here at the great city of Rocky Mountain. Now with that, I, I would be remiss if I didn't thank Peter Varney for his uh, tenure as interim uh, city manager here. Uh, if you don't recognize him, he is the guy with the biggest smile in the room. <laughs> so thank you, Peter, for your service to our community and your ongoing commitment. <laughs> with that time, I'd like to ask everybody to please stand and observe a, a moment of prayer. Here, 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 here. There we have a quorum. With that, I'd like item number four is consideration of the minutes of the special call the committee of the whole meeting, which was held November 28th of 2022. Uh, we reviewed the audit uh, from 2022 and the gas adjustment uh, presentation. I'd like to request a motion to approve the minutes as written. So moved. Motion made by Councilman Harris, seconded by Councilman Javaris Walker. Uh, any for discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. This time, uh, we'd like to um, ask a superior, retired superior court judge, uh, the Honorable Quinty Summer, please come and swear in our new manager, Keith Rogers. Not an addition, but I uh, want to thank the staff and our assistant city manager, Elton Daniels, for doing a phenomenal job in supporting uh, by getting our interest city manager, Mr. Peter Barney, that have brought us to this great opportunity that we And we'll look forward as we looking forward for a wonderful opportunity to continue to grow. And thank you so much for the staff and team of Rocky Mountain. Thank you, Councilman. Are there any other deletions or additions to the minutes or to the agenda as published? Okay, hearing none, we'll move right on. Uh, this time, I will turn the mic over to uh, our new city manager, official city manager, uh, Keith Rogers. Thank you, Mayor. I'm excited uh, this evening to present my first community update at this Monday, March 13th council meeting. Uh, first item, uh, the Experience Downtown Rocky Mountain newsletter is available. Uh, the first edition was emailed to residents earlier on today, and for now, the plans call for this newsletter to be presented quarterly. Our debut edition features a survey asking residents what they would like to see more of in downtown, as that is very important to us. Uh, also, information regarding First Fridays, which is a monthly celebration that kicks off on May 5th. Also, details on a few new downtown businesses and much, much more that you'll see in the newsletter. 
Uh, additionally, I would like to highlight Women's History Month uh, for the month of March, and the city will proudly recognize the following women this month. Uh, the five women who previously served on the Rocky Mountain City Council, uh, the Honorable <coughs> Linda Holmes, uh, Helen P. Gay, Chris Carroll Miller, Angela Bryant, and Louise Watkins. Uh, and also the four women who currently lead Rocky Mount City Departments. Our City Clerk, Kimberly Batts. Our Business and Collection Services Director, Latasha Hall. Our Human Resources Director, Keena Cofield-Jones. As well as our Community Development Director, Director Cornelia McGee. Uh, and finally, the Motown Review takes place on Friday at the Imperial Center this event is open for ages 21 and up and will feature Motown's Greatest Hits compilation with an audience to choose the winning acts. So there will be a reception from 5.30 to 6.30 and showtime is at 7 p.m. Thank you, Mayor. So, Thank you, City Manager. Um, uh, yes, sir. Council. I want to also add Saturday, the Rocky Mountain Police Department and the Fire Department will play a charity basketball game at Nassau Central High School at 4 p.m., correct? All right. Thank you, Councilman. Any other uh, questions or uh, inquiries or comments for the manager? Yes, sir. Councilman T.J. Walker. Just one correction, Mayor. Um, you know, I, I knew City Manager. I'm sure he would have known this, but uh, my predecessor correction her name is the Honorable Lois Watkins. Thank you, Councilman. All right. Thank you. And thank you for that, uh, City Manager. At this point in time, I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize Werner Avery on the occasion of his retirement from the Close Doctor. Uh, he has served our community for many, many, many years, and I'd like to ask you to please come forward so I can present you with this uh, recognition. about uh, my job is I get to recognize all kinds of wonderful people for wonderful things. And although he could not be here with us tonight, um, I, we've issued a proclamation, or I've issued a proclamation, just on behalf of Terrence P. Foster, Jr., on the occasion of his 170th birthday. Now, as many of you know, I think most of my friends will take me under on that. But uh, we're very excited for all that he's done for our community, and I'd like to turn the mic over, if you will, this time to uh, Councilman Knight to give us a little bit of the history, and, and I believe that Councilman Blackwell would like to finish up after uh, he's, uh, Mr. Knight has said this. We just want to celebrate and pay homage to uh, um, Deacon Foster. Uh, Deacon Foster is a pillar in this community. 
Uh, he celebrated his 102nd uh, birthday. Uh, he was a former principal at the Bassettville Elementary School. Also, he's the uh, son of one of the greatest Baptist preachers in Eastern North Carolina, the late T.D. Foster. Um, the church was Little Hope, which is now named in honor of his father, Foster Memorial Baptist Church. So we just want to celebrate him, all the uh, hard work and labor he has put into this community in educating uh, children um, all across this state, all across this country. And we just want to appreciate um, Deacon Foster for uh, all his hard work that he has done here in the city of Rocky Mountain. Right. And we just echo those sentiments um, across our entire city. It's an honor to be able to be blessed by God to live over a hundred years. That's amazing, isn't it? And so we're just so thankful that Rocky Mount uh, has so many people who have passed that hallmark. And um, although he was unable to be here tonight, um, his family um, is watching and uh, I'm appreciative of uh, everyone's support and prayers, continued prayers for his health and well-being. And uh, we thank God for not just his legacy, but what is to go forward. Looking for a better future for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Councilman uh, Joyner. Definitely want to say thank you for honoring uh, Deacon Foster, his pastor, Pastor Perry, and that great congregation happened to be in my ward, and I have had the privilege of serving with them as Nehemiah, uh, father of the deacon uh, with him, and uh, just want to say thank you for recognizing a legend in our community. Yes, sir. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, this time we'll move on to uh, petitions to be received from the public. The public, the public petitions portion of the City Council meeting, meeting is an opportunity for public comment. To and City, <coughs> City Council appreciates your attendance and thanks you for expressing your views and opinions. City Council values all citizen input, and this is an opportunity to raise a question or present a request to the Council. However, in most cases, Council members will not respond to public comments but may refer a matter to city manager or staff for follow-up. Time will be monitored or to give everyone an opportunity to speak, and speakers will have three minutes. Please be aware that sign-in sheets must be presented to the security officer prior to the starting of the meeting, and if you're uh, here, then please designate one person to speak on behalf of an organized group. If your comments are in regard to an item that is subject to a public hearing, please wait until that item is introduced to speak. Time will also be monitored. <coughs> For comments in regard to an evidentiary hearing, additional time may be granted. City Council requests you please adhere to the following guidelines. Complete a sign-in sheet. Address comments to the Council as a whole and not to individual Council members or City staff. Speak from the podium in a civil, non-argumentative, and respectful manner. Personal attacks which have the potential to disrupt the meeting will not be tolerated. You will be asked to sit down or be removed from the meeting. Please keep comments to three minutes. This time I'd like to invite um, Damon Hopper, Hooper, Hooper, to the podium. I've, uh, my name is Damon Hooper. I'm here in reference to my children's tickets. Uh, I've got some packets. is actually um, the websites that we've utilized to organize the petition. As of 2 o'clock today, that petition was 1,933 signatures. As of right now, it's almost 2,100. Um, it's continuing to go on. Um, these chickens are emotional support for my girls. Uh, one of my children is very sick. Uh, we've had them for over three years. Um, they just the eighth, they showed up at our house saying we had to get rid of them. Um, my backyard is literally A1 zone. My coop is five feet away from it. Um, we attempted to talk to the supervisor of animal control to receive a permit because we meet the qualifications. Um, he denied us that, so we're now trying these steps here. I'm not trying to call a stink. I'm not trying to change anybody's rules. I just want to be able to keep the chickens for my children's emotional support and be able to teach them responsibility and 
um, survival abilities later in the future. Um, if anything, you, um, if we could change the ordinance, uh, there's a lot of people on here just in Rocky Mount that would love to be able to raise chickens in, in their own yard themselves. Um, the coop is brand new. Everything about it's clean. There's nothing dirty. There's no roosters. Um, I would just like to see my children go to keep their chickens. That's really all I've got to say. And the paperwork speaks for itself. All right, Mr. Daniel will get that to us. We'll all review it. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Jordan. Yes, we had um, our uh, garden meeting this Saturday. Um, and uh, it appears that there's a lot of citizens in this community that um, presently have chickens and bees and well, a couple of years ago, we decided that we wanted Rocky Mount to be um, a model food system. And so I would hope that in concurrence with that, that we would try to make the necessary adjustment to, um, to, to meet those goals and objectives. Thank you, Councilor Anyone else? This time I'd like to invite Aston Houghton to the podium. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Mayor, Mr. City Manager, congratulations on your appointment. Welcome to Rocky Mount. My name is Aston Houghton, and I'm a resident of Berkshire, and on February 18th, we invited the public, members of the city government, members of city council, to come to an event that we have. We were showcasing the projects that we have completed. The city, city government staff came, and we have two members from the city council. Mr. Harris and Mr. Knight. We would like to thank each and every one of you for the support that you have given to the members or the communities of Berkshire. So what we have done, because you didn't come to the event, we have prepared documents and give to every member of the event. That is to showcase the things that we have done and what we have planned moving forward. These projects, we won't be able to carry them forward unless you get your continued support, which is very important for us to work in the community, which the matter is we to get homes, make it affordable, and help prepare the residents of Rocky Mount on the community in wealth building. So we are preparing all these groundworks. So we have projects there that you gentlemen can look at. And when the time comes, please don't forget us. We need your support. Without your support, both of these projects won't go forward. So I do thank you for your time. You have enough time to look over these documents and thank you again for your Consideration. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to invite Ms. Mari Menjes to the podium. Good evening. Um, I'm going to be nice. Not just because Mr. Rogers is his first time, but you know, we don't want to scare him away. Um, my big thing is, does the city of Rocky Mount have any dealings with trying to control or do something with the fire ants? Um, I have some friends in Inglewood, and they have fire ants. I mean, they're in town. And you know I live out in the sticks. But let me tell you, North Muslim Boulevard has got some humongous piles. And when they make those big things, you know, you don't want to get near them. And I didn't know if that was a state problem or if Rocky Mount City's 
do anything to control those little beggars. Also, believe it or not, I want to thank, I know it's got to be the city. I had a couple of fellas out on our media at 301 um, North, and they not only were cleaning up my media so I didn't have to do it, they were so good, and also, I don't know if the police had anything to do with this, but you know where I put my recycling stuff near the line near Bevenue Road? It is so clean. And those stupid people that put those mattresses in there and the garbage, it is so clean. But I would like to ask, am I gonna get, or the people in that area, are we gonna get another recyclable container? We really need that. And um, that's all I have to say, believe it or not. And welcome, Mr. Rogers. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, Ms. Midges, I wanted to let you know as your council person, I got an update on Ebony and Ivory. I did speak with the owner. He's working on a plan to get it knocked down. So I wanted to let you know, as your council person, I did have a conversation with the people at Ebony Ivory and they're going to work on tearing it down. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Okay, at this time I'd like to invite uh, Reverend Nehemiah Smith to the podium. Good evening. Um, take this opportunity to uh, welcome um, the new city manager. Now this is truly Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. So glad to have you. Glad <laughs> <laughs> be here with us. Amen. Um, uh, at 930 Sunday School, 11 o'clock uh, regular service, Mount Zion First Baptist Church. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, uh, I'm here on Pothole Patrol tonight um, at the intersection of Barnes, Martin Luther King, and 1620 or well, 1600 block of, of Virginia Street. There's a pothole that has been there for many days, for numerous weeks, for a lot of months. We call, everybody on the streets been calling. And nobody has come to fix that hole yet. It is full of water. Um, it is tearing up cars. We need to make sure that that pothole is filled. Also, in the, 16, in the 600 block of Park Avenue, there's also uh, an obstruction there that's a pothole that needs to be fixed. Uh, I would also like to take the opportunity to thank our police chief uh, for the stupendous job that they are doing in our community to police the community. Uh, right there at that same corner uh, of Virginia and Barnes, people run that stop sign uh, all the time. And the other day I, I saw a kid that was coming from school almost get hit there, but now the chief has put some people out that they are watching that corner. There used to be a light there, not a, not a stop light, but a caution light that would let you know if somebody was coming into the, um, into the intersection. Uh, but uh, I want to thank chief for that uh, and sending your people out there. Very nice, got a chance to talk with them the other day and they're doing a great uh, job with uh, community uh, policing. I know that uh, no one's a robot, uh, but we want to make sure that we get it done in a timely manner because that hole has been there for months, for many days, for numerous weeks, okay? All right, so thank you very much. Um, continue the good work that you're doing. God bless you and welcome. Thank you. Finally, I'd like to invite Bronx Williams to the podium. I want to say uh, good evening to uh, the Mayor's City Council. Um, I wasn't planning to be here tonight, but unfortunately I um, made a phone call to Parks and Rec on Friday. After leaving the television show, I went over to Dorchers community. And there I found a City of Rocky Mount vehicle. Now when I campaigned months ago, Dorchers wasn't in our city boundaries. So I'm not sure uh, what happened or what's going to happen about that situation. Again, I, uh, I called the director of Parks and Rec and, 
and had that individual gave me a phone call back, I wouldn't be here tonight. So I, I would encourage uh, folks to certainly be considerate of citizens in our community. Uh, when we do have issues and concerns that we're thought about, that we are contacted about issues uh, that are great, of great importance to us um, as well. I do hope that this city will also support that family who wants to keep their comfort chickens uh, in our community. Um, certainly people do need comfort animals and support uh, with all the things that young people are dealing with in school and except just life in general. Uh, we don't know what item or what person or what they need, but one thing they don't need is to find themselves in somebody's cemetery or find themselves in somebody's jail. Uh, so all that we can do to support our future generation is, would be greatly appreciated, uh, not just by me, and I'm sure by everybody in this city. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Williams. And that brings us to item number 10 on our agenda, which is consent agenda. This time, um, there is a, a need for clarification, I believe, on the health insurance component. And Mr. Rogers, one for, I'm sorry, Councilman Joyner. Yeah, thank you so much. I was a little late, but I'd be remiss not to thank uh, um, uh, Mr. Barney and this Council and Archie and Mr. McGee for supporting the community wealth building that have allowed both Berkshire and uh, of the community group to continue to do what we're doing and helping them to take those initiatives to be a leader and a builder and a sustainer of their own communities. And I um, want to thank you for your continued support of community organizations who want to step out there and make an investment in their community and build it back better themselves. So I just want to thank this council and this city doing that. Thank you. Anyone else? So as indicated, we're at the consent agenda. There were some items of uh, we had clarification as related to the health insurance contract that we had a special call committee the whole meeting uh, on last Monday. So this time I'd like you to provide the um, opportunity for Mr. Rogers to provide us a clarification on that and then we'll proceed with the vote. Thank you, Mayor. So I just wanted to provide clarity on the items D and E on tonight's consent agenda. We are looking for council's approval of these items. These uh, items relate to the city's health insurance contract. Uh, for clarity, this is a three-year contract, one year with two renewals, and also the contract document has been updated to provide that uh, the arbitration hearings will be in North Carolina and not in Connecticut. Rogers. I'd also like to point out on item A, which is temporary street closure, the date is listed as June 23rd. It was meant to be June 24th. Um, so with that said, those clarifications, I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent. Second. Uh, uh, Councilman Donkers made a motion, second by Councilman Blackwell. Is there a need for discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed, like sign. Motion carries. This item brings us to item number 11, which is consideration of rescheduling the regular scheduled city council meeting uh, on April 10th, moving into April 3rd of 2023. Is there a motion to approve the change? So moved. Motion made by Councilman Joyner, is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Harris. Is there a need for discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. Having no other business to appear for the council tonight, I now adjourn the meeting. <laughs> hey man, how you doing? <laughs> That's got to be a record short. <laughs>